Hey guys, what's up? This is Glockmeister26 and I'm making a video response to Blade Ops Awesome Paracord Contest Giveaway. Anyway, for those of you that do subscribe to my channel, you guys know that I love paracord. It's my stress relief. It's what I do for fun. Um, not too long ago, I did an order for about 300, almost 300 bracelets uh, for a nonprofit organization. All, I, all they paid for was the paracord itself and I made them for free. It's my stress relief and I can do about uh, three bracelets an hour. Uh, so it takes about 20 minutes to do a bracelet because I do like to do it really tight weave. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys some tips and some um, um, basically some uh, fun facts that you can uh, so that you can make a better paracord bracelet. Uh, first of all, I don't care how good the paracord bracelet looks or how great, cool the colors are. Uh, the person receiving it is not going to wear it unless it's really comfortable. Uh, when paracord gets burned, it gets uh, very sharp. It gets sharp edges. Um, I take pride in my buckles because this is the way I get the buckles. I purchase them in bulk and this is what they look like. Um, as you know these are made for uh, straps but we modify them for paracord bracelets. So what I do is I take my Dremel tool and as you can see here I cut off this extra piece and then with the Dremel I go ahead and round off the edges so that they're really smooth. No one's going to wear a paracord bracelet if it hurts or if it scrapes. So the first thing you want to do is work on this and make sure that it's really smooth. Uh, it does take a little bit extra time, guys. I'm not going to lie. You know, especially making three close to 300, it's a lot of work. Remember to wear a mask when you're doing that sanding, by the way. But anyway, it makes a big difference and the wearer is going to appreciate it. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about was needle nose pliers. Uh, what I don't see a lot of is people... Um, the tools that people use and I never see uh, people using needle nose pliers. The reason these are important is because when you're joining two pieces of paracord together you need to make a very nice uh, flat um, uh, union and this is where the needle nose pliers come in really handy. This little flat spot, this little flat iron spot is what you're going to be using when you're joining two pieces to clamp them down and that creates that seamless transition where the wearers are going to have this rough piece poking into their uh, wrist. Um, the most important thing with any of these paracord bracelets is that they're comfortable. That's number one. So let me just give you a close example. When joining two pieces of paracord, the first thing you want to do is cut as close as you can without having these little white uh, inner threads showing. So the cut would be like this. The reason you don't want a lot of the white stuff is because it's going to create a lot of this uh, gunk when you actually melt it. You want as little of that as possible because that's going to create discomfort for the person wearing it. So here are my two pieces. Sorry, I'm doing this with a viewfinder. Okay. So now I have my two pieces, and you want them basically looking like this. Just the inner cords, just barely, barely on the edge. The next thing I like to do is I like to hold them together, and when burning them, kind of burn them at an even pace so that they're both melting just a little bit. You don't want them dripping because obviously it's dangerous and it will hurt. Once I melt them, I put them together. Then before they solidify, I take my needle nose and I clamp the union. Sorry for the shaky stuff guys, I'm, I'm kind of looking through the viewfinder. Um, once you clamp them down, you're going to have something similar to this. After I've done this, I'm still going to take some sharp scissors and I'm going to trim the edges on both sides because you get a little bit of that gunk. Once you've done that, you take your lighter and you hold it to the side. Here's another tip about using a lighter, guys. If you use the yellow side of the flame, the top, it's a lot hotter on the top and it's going to burn the paracord and it's going to discolor it. If you just want to melt it, use the blue part, the bottom part of the flame, and that's just going to barely melt that paracord and let you mold it. See, it's not so hot that you can't touch it and you're still getting rid of any sharp areas. Like right now, that's really smooth. The next thing you're going to do is do it on the other side using the blue so that it just barely mates, melts it and doesn't burn it. Now that's a very smooth joint. It's not going to cause discomfort and it's going to be a pleasure to wear that bracelet. And if this is uh, on the bottom portion of the bracelet where it's not seen, for example this one, it doesn't call, cause the word discomfort and you can't even feel it. Anyway guys, those are three tips 
using your lighter, using the, the bottom blue area instead of using the top yellow area so you won't burn it. Number two, using a good uh, set of needle nose pliers to clamp that union down when you're using two different colors. Um, and using the Dremel on the buckle, which will make the wearer very appreciative in the long run when he's wearing it day in and day out. Anyway, that's my entry to Blade Ops uh, contest. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day.